At one point in my life, I was around 33. I don't even, I truly don't even know how it happened, but I had about five girlfriends, and they were all, well, yeah, I'm gonna say they were girlfriends because we were pretty cool. We were pretty cool. We were babysitting each other's children, okay? And. I was a truck driver, plus I owned my own floors. So, and then I was going through this mommy thing, like trying to be like this. Like, I just, I don't know. It's like, you know how when people find Jesus, they want to tell everybody. I felt like such a great mom. I want the whole world to know that I just love being a mom. So I joined I hooked up with people who had children, you know, and at five girlfriends, they used to come over to my house, right? And it was so crazy because on Wednesday, <laughs> it's so crazy. On Wednesday, we would pick a book and every Wednesday I would cook, but it was health night Wednesday. Like I would cook like, um, and see back then I was on like this huge, um, trend, you know, I went from 300 pounds to 145 pounds and I jogged every single day. I, I jogged three miles in the morning and three miles at night. So I was on this thing, you know, this health kick thing. So every Wednesday I would do the cooking and it would be a health type of uh, thing. Okay. And then we would have a book and I always had to be the one, um, to read it and interpret the book the way that I saw it. So um, they look forward to that every Wednesday. And I started uh, looking forward to it. And then they said, okay, can we do like a good dinner night? You know, not read a story or anything like that, but let's just hang out as friends and so watch a movie. So I'm going to tell you what we did on, on Friday nights. We would watch Lifetime. Lifetime on TV. We would let the kids play. Of course, at my house. I don't know why it always had to be my house. And we would watch Lifetime. And, oh, my goodness. We would lay across. I had this big green um, sectional chair. And I noticed, you know, when my daughters decided to change the style up on our living room furniture that had always got the same furniture year after year after year, even though it was, like, different colors. I had a green leather section off with the cups and the seats out. And, you know, then I had the burgundy, then I had the red, then I had the brown, you know. So just, and so anyway, I had a green one at that time. And I loved that thing. That thing was money green, okay? And then thinking about the money green couch, I have a memory that stuck in my head when I had this thing that something happened spiritually to me and it was just I'm not even gonna get into that but I'm gonna just tell you a small part and then I'm gonna jump back on what I was saying my body sat up in the middle of the night I heard my name called all around it was like nowhere it was just all around it was just like penetrating in my head and my body kneeled up and bowed like bowed Okay, couldn't move, couldn't do anything. Yeah, I'm gonna say God. God had a conversation with me. <laughs> it was deep. <laughs> it was deep. Okay, I'll never forget it. It's always with me. That's that's why I'm the person I am today too. You know, I, my experience is what I've been through. I know for my own part. I don't need nobody to tell me nothing. I don't need nobody to tell me that there's a God or there ain't no God. I know, I know that there's a God. Okay. Yes, indeed. Um, and I'm gonna tell you. And 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 it wasn't where God came to see me and oh to give me a trophy and to tell me how proud he was and to put me on a pedestal. No, I was chastised. <laughs> mm, my feelings were hurt. <laughs> you know, after I was chastised. I immediately started making changes in my life, and I immediately knew what was important and what wasn't, okay? Mm-hmm. And I wasn't chastised about materialistic things or nothing like that. 
you know, I'll tell y'all about it one day. The, 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 that thing is a little deep, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when you chastise, I start telling y'all about it. That means I have to tell y'all my, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, confessions. <laughs> I have to um, uh, uh, repent, okay? Repentance, okay? So <laughs> I have to get into that. I ain't ready for that. <laughs> Spirit girl ain't ready. But yes, yes, I was chastised. But yeah, that green chair reminds me of that. I will never forget it. My body was stuck. I couldn't move. And um, and then from there, let me tell you, all of a sudden, I was sitting at a table. But there was no ground underneath me. There was no ground and there was no walls around me. But I knew I was at a table. I don't know. And I can't tell you what color the table was, but I knew it was a table there. Not like I can't remember the table. I didn't see it, but telepathically, I knew a table was there. I, I know it sounds crazy, but I knew, okay? Mm. And I can tell you this much. When the, when the fist hit the table, I felt the vibrations of it. I was in trouble. I knew I was in trouble. Oh, my God, I'm in trouble. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And I remember waking up, and I was like, oh, God, oh, my God, if this was it for me, I would be in trouble. Oh, my God, but I got a second chance. I woke up, okay, you guys, I woke up, and when I woke up, I said, you know what? My perspective about life is just going to be completely different now. <laughs> Told you we all got something, you know. We all got something, so don't ever wish, you know, to walk in nobody else's shoes. I'm telling you, don't, because we, we you know, sometimes when you make a a change and and going through a transition and a positive change, okay, snakes start stand up in the grass, okay. I'm just I'm just say that, okay. So you want to go through something, you know, huh? And and don't ever be afraid of standing out and being different, you know. Sometimes people wonder why they don't get noticed. People don't pay them no attention because they're trying to fit in. You know, so I walk my own walk. I take my own steps. Yes. Oh, but let me get back to the green couch. Me, uh, I know y'all said spirit, spirit. What happened to the females, your, your friends? Okay, yeah. They used to love this freaking couch, man. They they all had their own cups, their favorite cups, because I always had nice cups at the house, you know, and they would claim them, you know, when they came. And then we would make popcorn, and we would take off our shoes. Everybody just have on their little socksies. And that's it, socksies. <laughs> Footies. <laughs> But it, yeah, oh my God, we will have a freaking ball, okay? Yeah, I have five friends, and oh my goodness, I thought that we was, I was so happy that year of my life. I'm going to tell you how I met them. I had, I had my own business, and, and sometimes I didn't make no sales in a store, and then I had to, you know, be there for my kids on the weekend and stuff like that with throw cookouts and stuff and had their little friends over. So I decided one day that I would just make, like, fruit baskets, the fake ones with the flowers and stuff in them and the, all kind of decorations, and I put them on tables um, on my lawn, and people would come by them, and then this is how I met the females of my neighborhood and we started talking and we became friends we still realized we had things in common but we were all like really really completely different um two of the females were married uh one was just how can I, I don't know she was uh she was a uh, dating <laughs> 
single, married, didn't matter. She was dating somebody. And then I was single, a single mom with children. And another person was single with her children. And we we enjoyed our time together. Our kids got to play and we got to hang out with each other and talk and, and, and you know, discuss things that happened to us in our life, what was going on, give us the tea, some dirt and stuff like that. So we just we just really enjoyed each other's company. And I'm gonna tell you where uh one the, the how the friendship started to like n- not work out anymore. It was one particular person who had a little boy. And I probably mentioned this somewhere because I got like a hundred and forty three vlogs and I ramble and I talk a lot and I don't remember everything I tell you I just tell you stuff out of my memory it just come out of nowhere so you may make a comment about something that happened <laughs> that I vlogged about last year and I will actually have to go back and watch the video to see what the freak you talking about because I just just be rambling and just telling you about my life but anyway one girl she had um she was married and she had you guys she had a four-year-old, okay, that wasn't in a regular school yet. You know, like, as soon as my kids turned three, I was trying to get them, like, in pre-K, you know? <laughs> I was trying to get them in school, okay? So, her child wasn't in school yet. And um, I had started my business uh, I well, even though I was selling stuff, I was also doing a lot of flea market at the time, and I was traveling, and um, I would only do it three days a week. So I had a couple of days in the weekends that I didn't do it. And she was telling me that she had to get a job, um, that her husband, and her was going through some financial things, and that you know she would pay me if I was to babysit. But, you know, just, you know, she was thinking maybe just like gas money uh, because I would have to take a child with me wherever I go and I would take them to the business or whatever with me. And she said, but not to pay me for service, but to pay me like gas money. And I understood what she was saying because we were supposed to be friends and she couldn't afford childcare. But I was available, you know, so I told her fine. And gas money basically was like ten dollars a day. So I really babysitted her child from the kindness of my heart. So I didn't realize how different of parents we were until I started watching her child. The boy was four. And he was still sucking a bottle. He was still wearing diapers. Okay. That was an issue for me. <laughs> I was like, okay, girl, stop. Hey, let me tell you guys, she was crazy about her little boy. Like, she loved this little boy. It was her only son, and she was so in love with the father. Okay, some crazy stuff went down. And, you know, I was just, I was like, listen, okay, I can give him the bottle. Because you making them up. I'm, I'm not going to be making no bottles, okay? I don't have an issue with that. Now, feeding him, I don't have an issue with that because I can teach him how to eat finger food, which he should have been eating finger food. The issue came when I had to change it. Four years old is a grown damn person, okay? When it comes to going to the bathroom, okay? And let me tell you how I found out. She was so happy one morning when she came over. I was happy too, because her little boy is such a, he was so cute, like a little man. And I'm talking to him, the kids playing with him. They took him outside. And then my daughter comes in, mom, 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 um, such and such needs to use the bathroom. He stink, he stink, he stink. I said, oh no, did you use the bathroom for yourself? Mm-mm. Okay, so let me finish telling you what I need to tell you because I don't made it to my destination. Freaking um, camera acting up. That's why it always remind me why I got a new camera. Oh my God. 
it, it just always seems to cut off within 10 minutes and then I got to wait like almost damn near an hour before it comes back on. It's just got a, a botchy attitude, okay? This camera. But anyway, okay, so what happened was my daughter came to me and she said that he, he had to use the bathroom and that he stink. So I started talking to him and trying to figure out, did he poop on himself? Why did he do that? Why didn't he tell somebody he had to use the bathroom? He just like, mm, mm. That's Look, why didn't you tell someone you had to use the bathroom? Mm. I said, oh my God. I said, okay, rush him to the bathroom. And I think I was kind of like a little irritated at the fact that he done pooped on himself. Now I got to clean it up. My first day watching this child, I went digging through his stuff to see if he had more clothes and he had clothes. But when, while he was in the bathroom with my daughter and she was taking off his clothes, I'm checking the bag. I'm digging in the bag. He got freaking pampers. Where's the freaking pull-ups? Where's the freaking drawers? Okay, none. These large freaking pampers. So I go to the bathroom, got this big saggy freaking pamper on, and I'm thinking like, okay, he had on this like jumper and it was like real big and baggy, and I just thought that it was just big on him, but he had a pamper on, and I was just thinking like, what the freaking freak? What the freaking freak is what the freak is going on here? So after I took his pamper off and everything, I just ran some water, warm water and some soap, and I put him in it. And we just like, oh my God, why? You know? So after I got him all cleaned up and everything, he went to his bag and he was digging in it and he pulled out his bottle. And I was just looking at him on the couch and I was just just like He's past four years old. So I took his milk and I poured it in a cup. And he said, mm -mm. I said, mm hmm, mm hmm. You gonna drink this? You gonna drink this in a cup, okay? I said, and I'm gonna show you how to use the bathroom. After he drank his milk and everything, he ate his food, and then he's sitting at the table. And he would not pick up the spoon to eat his food. And I was like, eat. Come on, you're going to have to eat. And my daughter was like, mom, his mommy still feed him. I said, okay, listen, Goliath, you're going to be hungry today if you don't pick up no this dad on spoon and eat, Okay. And so my daughter started showing him how to eat the spoon. I said, he knows how to eat the spoon. He just don't want to because he doesn't have to eat the spoon. So he picks up the spoon and he's eating. And he's around the, the table with my son and my daughter. They all laughing and talking and everything. Some other little kids in the house. So after they eat, I sit some on the toilet. And I get I had a little step ladder. I put his feet on the step ladder, set his butt on the toilet. And I said, okay. Don't move until you pee pee, until you pee pee or poo poo, you know, you're going to sit here. Okay. So the problem came in. In my mind, when his mom got there, I was going to tell her, listen, spirit girl can't do this. Okay. I start potty training my children right away. Let me tell you how potty train I paint train my children. Now, boys are harder for me. My son was harder to potty train. But my daughters were already sitting on their little uh, potty tool, potty stool. <laughs> by the time they were eight months old. I mean, both of them, by the time they were eight months old, they were already coming out of pampers, like literally, okay? And walking. And walk in. Shoot, Toya was trying to walk a day after she got out. I was her grown tail. She was, she was just grown. She was she ain't stay a baby long, okay? And then with Dream, he was already running and walking by the time he was one. And he was out of the pampers by the time he was one years old. Now, the problem I had is him wet in the bed. But he didn't wet himself when he went to school or when he was around friends and when he was out, okay? 
So when she got to the house, I was just going to tell her, listen, okay, I don't mind helping you out, but if you're going to nurture your child to stand a baby, you have to find a babysitter that's that's with that. I can't do it. I, I can't. No, 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 no. Because I go places, I'm not going to be changing no four-year-old, over four-year-old pamper in the bathroom. I'm not going to be feeding him. And I'm not going to have him with me with no daggone bottle in his hand looking like he's 45. Okay? No. Okay? So that's what I was going to tell her. But when she came in the house and she went to go pick him up, he ain't had no pamper on. <laughs> And she started feeling around on him and everything. And then she just kind of like got quiet. And then she's like, where's his stuff? And I said, it's right there on my bed. And then she was like, why his bottle? The tops off his bottles and the bottles are empty. I said, well, one, the tops could be off because I washed it. But I didn't wash the bottles. I empty out whatever formula you had in there and I put it in a cup and I gave it to him. She said, you did what? You did what? I didn't give you permission to give my child no cup. I said, that's true. That's true. You did not. I said, also, your child pooped on himself. She said, well, I changed his pamper at least every two to three hours. I said, okay, I think you forgot to mention that to me. She said, well, it's obvious that once you see that once you have to take care of him, that you're going to have to put a pamper on him. I said, I said, okay, I'm not going to be able to keep him because, one, he's in a pamper. Two, he still sucks a bottle. Three, he's not even willing to feed himself. And I feel like um, that he's 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 behind, you know. And she said, behind? Who is you to tell me my son behind? I said, well, okay. I said, well let me put it this way. My children are considered advanced and I haven't had to do that since they were newborn, newborn babies. And I did not do that for them when they were two. I'm not going to do it for your four-year-old child. And she went off. She went off. She said, I am his mother. You disrespected me by not following my rules as a parent. You don't put on under... Oh, that's another thing I mentioned. <laughs> I put on Batman undie clothes on because that's my favorite my son's favorite character he, everything was batman so i put the undie pants the tidy whities on his behind okay she liked her dad she liked to die she had a freaking freaking fit she went off on me okay and i was like okay you know at that point i just saw another side of her that i was no longer comfortable with so i was like okay I'm done with her. I no longer want to be her friend. Make a long story short, she told the other girls what I did, what she was mad about, and how, you know, she feel like I feel like I'm better than them. And, you know, the next following week, I was looking forward to the girls showing up, and nobody showed up. <laughs> nobody showed up. And when I called one of the girls, they was like, well, we all were friends before we met you. And even though we feel like she's out of line, we have to take her side because we was friends with her first. I said, well, oh, alrighty then. And I left it like that. And I never spoke to them again. And, and, and let me tell you, later on in life, they try to reconnect with me, but the I don't know. The connection was gone. Like, I was so disappointed. I was just so disappointed. You know, I didn't want nothing else to do with them girls. But, yeah, I tried to join the mommy crowd. But I found out that they were real live. <laughs> the strangest things. Okay, people always want to call me weird. Okay? I have met and seen some weird stuff in my lifetime. I really have. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I lost five friends immediately just because I didn't want to change nobody poopy diaper. Oh, my God. And, and hold him like, oh, that's another thing. Let me tell you that before my camera died. If it died, I'm sorry I couldn't, couldn't tell y'all. She was mad.
morning good morning hi spirits of lights how are you today yes i am on my way <sighs> i got a couple of hours to do i gotta go get my camera checked out taking it to get, i guess get the sensor clean um they said try to do it yourself because otherwise it's very expensive so i'm nervous about that i tried to do it myself and it didn't work I'm drinking um, the Starbucks Carmel Macchiato, my favorite. It's kind of a gloomy type, windy type day today. I'm tired. I haven't had no sleep in a couple of days. And um, literally no sleep. <laughs> I'm tired, but. I can't sleep like a wide awake, which is not good. But I bought me a stone. Well, I said a stone, a scone. I've been wanting to show y'all guys what the scone look like. Because y'all was telling me that some cake that I was eating one time is called scones in your country. Well, this is what it looks like at Starbucks. And they come in cranberry and vanilla. But I love the blueberry. It smells very buttery, very toasty. Um, very sweet and the blueberries are very potent yeah and it has like a uh, sugar around the edges I wish I had my camera I could show it to you you could really see the color in it I don't know I don't got used to my camera but I still want to talk to you even though I don't have my camera with me today well, I have it with me. Not working. <laughs> mm. Mm. But I was watching some YouTube tutorials, and I was saying that you should clean your sensors. Why someone if you fume a lot? And I fume a lot. 